A1, rim installation, riser and mud seal installation. The left riser with yellow sticker shall be fixed onto the power assembly with two M8 screws. Right riser shall be fixed onto the right mud seal with two M8 screws. Bottom plate installation. Turn the bottom plate into the holes on the riser and fix them with screws. A2 shelf installation, auxiliary rack installation. Locate the auxiliary rack by referencing the paint can size on each layer. Way 1. Locate the auxiliary rack by referencing the hole numbers. Way 2. Locate the auxiliary rack by referencing the auxiliary ruler. Locate the rest auxiliary racks in the same way. Shelf and shelf fixer installation. Locate the shelf for big tanks onto the auxiliary rack of the bottom layer. Lift the left end slightly to align it with the big end of the holes on the riser. Insert the shelf fixer and press down the shelf to lock it. Install the right end and other shelves in the same way. A3 Accessories installation, link rod and cover plate installation, power link rod at bottom layer. Insert one end of the link rod coupler into the coupler of the power assembly. Insert the other end into the transmission shaft of the shelf assembly. Bottom layer cover plate installation. Connect the bottom layer cover plate with the power link rod. Then fix it into the round hole of the bottom plate. Locate a cover plate for small cans onto the top of the bottom layer cover plate to connect it with the shelf. Link rod assembly installation. Insert the loading plate brace into the hole of the shelf assembly. Press the link rod and connect it with the grooved pin of the vertical shaft and the transmission shaft of the upper shelf assembly. Get a plastic cover plate. Open its two ends and cover it onto the link rod assembly to fix it. Install the rest link rod assembly and cover plates in the same way. Notice, long link rods for big cans, short link rods for small cans. Top layer loading plate brace installation. Cover the loading plate brace and shelf ceiling pad onto the main transmission of the top loading plate. Decorative plate installation. Insert the decorative plate into the left and right holes of the risers. Pulling strip installation. Connect one end of the pulling strip with the fixing screw of riser. Connect its other end with the turnbuckle. Rotate the two turnbuckles simultaneously. Notice, 
keep the left and right riser vertical with the ground. Keep the two turnbuckles evenly fastened. Switch box installation. Fix the switch box onto the left riser. The standard configuration of the mixing machine has been finished. You may connect the machine with power supply for trial running test. A4. Mixing lead installation. Take out the positioning rod and insert it into the mixing lead. Pay attention to the facing direction of the groove. Take out the pedal rod unit and insert it into the mixing lead. Take out the pedal and install it into the groove of the pedal rod. Place the installed mixing lead unit into the paint can. Press down the knob and rotate it to close. B. Optional configuration installation process. B1. Plating installation. Optional. Locate the loading plate with holes onto the shelf for the plating. Use two M6 screws to fix the left fixing plate onto the holes of the left riser. Notes: Align the upper surface of the fixing plate with the loading plate. Fix the right fixing plate in the same way. Locate the plating onto the left and right fixing plates. Use 4 M4 screws to fix it with the loading plate from the underside. B2. Hung in plate installation. Insert the horizontal hook of the right hung in plate into the side edge of the right riser. Insert the vertical hook of the right hung in plate into the square holes of the right riser. Press down the hung in plate to align it with the bottom of the riser. Install the left hung in plates in the same way. B3. Back storage rack installation. Optional. One, remove the pulling strip and the fixing screws. Two, hang the back storage rack onto the holes of the left riser by two M6 screws. Keep it in the same level of the relevant loading plate. Install the rest braces for the back storage rack in the same way. Locate the back storage rack brace unit beside the motor. Three. Insert the two ends of the back storage rack into the grooves of the braces. 4. Connect one end of the pulling strip with the back storage rack brace at the third layer. Fix the other end of the pulling strip onto the sixth layer of back storage rack. Fix the back storage rack supportive bars with the rack at each layer by M6 screws. 5. Rotate the two turnbuckles to fasten the pulling strip. B4. Mika shelf installation. Optional. Hang the Mika shelf onto the holes of right hanging plate. B5. Thermal parts installation. Optional. Preparation before installation. Remove the decorative plate, switch box, bottom plate, pulling strip, plating, left and right hung in plates, back storage rack, mica shelf, and the fixing screws. 
heating model bottom plate installation. Use nuts to fix the hanging shaft into the two holes of the inner side of the rat riser. Take out the heating model bottom plate. Install two M6 screws into one side of the bottom plate. Hold a 2 mm span for the screws inside the plate. The bottom plate shall be installed to the bottom of the mixing machine. One end shall be inserted into the hanging shaft. The other end shall be levelly located onto the left mud seal. Connect the cover plate supported bar with the M6 screw on the bottom plate via the end with groove. Align the center of its big round hole with the center of the power shaft below. Install the power link rod assembly, bottom layer cover plate, and the small can cover plate. Left riser, right riser of heating model. Take out the left riser assembly of the heating model. Press it to the left riser of the mixing machine. Install the right riser in the same way. There are three back cover plates for the heating model. They are labeled with top, middle, bottom stickers. Press them to the left and right risers. Fix them with screws. Top cover plate of heating model. Press the top cover plate onto the top of the heating model. Keep the screws of the left and right riser inserted into the holes of the top cover plate. Use M6 screws and washers to fix the top cover plate and the back cover plate. Middle slider of heating model. Insert the horizontal beam into the installed heating model frame. Align the upper surface of the middle slider with the shelf. Use four screws to fix the two ends. Decorative plate installation. Insert the pressing bar into the U-shaped edge of the decorative plate of the mixing machine. Put it onto the top of the heating module frame. Use M6 screws to fix the two ends. Door glass installation. 1. Take out the door glass and install it onto the slideway. Notice, two pieces of glass for the inner slideway, one piece for the outer slideway. 2. Connect the three power supply plugs from the back cover plate with the receptacles on the left riser. Switch box installation. Machine installation is finished. C. Usage and maintenance. C1. Usage. 1. Connect the power supply and turn on the machine. 2. Rotate the timer knob clockwise. Notice. Stop to check the machine if there is any abnormal noise during the trial run. 3. The yellow part moves during the stirring. C2. Maintenance. Stop the machine and disconnect the power supply plug before any maintenance. Never maintain the machine during the operation or when the power supply plug is connected. Daily maintaining. Clean the paint on the machine, paint can or mixing lid. 
and payments in every six months. Lubricate the transmission parts with lithium grease. Remove the cover plates and link rods among each layer. Open the loading clips. Lubricate the open parts and the metal gears with lithium grease. D. Troubleshooting. Only trained professionals are allowed to repair the machine. Operators are strictly forbidden to dismantle the machine. Disconnect the power supply plug before any repair. D1. A single mixing head does not work. If one single mixing head does not work, you shall change the broken shelf assembly. How to change the broken assembly? One, remove the link rod assembly and loading plate in the broken layer. Two, remove the four fixing screws from the frame. Notice, remove the shelf assembly on the right side of the broken one, or it is impossible to remove the broken shelf assembly. Three, remove the broken shelf assembly and install a new one. Fasten all the fixing screws. D2. A layer of mixing heads do not work. If a layer of mixing heads do not work, you shall check if there is any broken part of the main transmission unit, such as the cruised pin, fastening screw, or gear. How to replace the broken part? One. Remove the link rod assembly, loading plate in the broken layer, and. Check the main transmission unit. Two, and fasten the mixing screws from the main transmission unit to remove it. Replace the broken parts such as the grooved pin or fastening screw, etc. D three, the machine does not work. Open the timer of the switch box to see if the motor is still working. Main cause. One, timer of the switch box is broken. Solution: Disconnect the power supply plug and use a multimeter to check the timer. If it is broken, replace it. Two, the power link rod at the bottom layer is broken. Solution: Open the cover plate at the bottom layer to check the power link rod. Main transmission unit. If they are broken, replace them. Three, the electric capacitor on the motor is broken. Solution: Open the capacitor box on the motor and take out the electric capacitor. Cut one wire and use a multimeter to check it. If the capacitor is broken, replace it.